Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collective podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Welcome to the second ever Cut the Tape. I got a few things this weekend. I uh, went out to Las Vegas and uh, Los Angeles. And I picked up Masterpiece Grapple. That's fun. I got Masterpiece Megatron. This is the toy version uh, with the chrome and the really cool head. So that's that's the thing. And I got Make Toys uh, G2 Starscream. So re- really big packaging. Love G2. But this last week I've been setting up some G1 stuff in my in my loose case and uh, thought I'd take the time to open this up. This is the Takara LGX big powered Encore set. Our Legend Transformer Legends set. Not Encore. Encore's reissue. Legends is generations. So as we can see, it's sealed. And uh I thought I would open this. Since I happen to have my vintage big powered set right here, I thought we could compare and contrast. And speaking of big power, this is just a coincidence. I happened to also get this this weekend. This is actually a Transformer Zone on VHS tape. This is an official Takara release. So that was a nice little thing I didn't know existed. And now I have it because I have needs. So I've said before that uh, I usually get two of everything, one to open, one to keep sealed. Uh, but... There are some exceptions to that. Some exceptions include rarer things and specifically items that are in solid boxes. So what solid boxes refers to is a box that doesn't have a window in it, so you can't see the toy. So you can display it nicely without ever knowing if the toy is inside the package or not. So with stuff like that, especially on the higher end of new stuff, I tend to uh, just get one. So, let's cut the tape. Ooh, got a nice fresh blade on here. It's like cutting through with butter. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. That's that's case fresh. All right. So we got our big powered gift set in there. You know when you empty out a can of of meat, like chili, and it just kind of plops. All right. So there's some artwork on it, and pictures of the toys. So look at at this. Very different. This is the G1 box. This is the Legends box. G1 box, Legends box. This is the back of the Legends box. Kind of a mess, but it explains everything about the toys. This is the back of the G1 box. Has a nice cityscape. Tells you about the toys, how they connect, a little bit of the story. It's got a scene from potential animation on the back. Very cool. And this is the nice box, too. This is a very nice box, too. Uh, What I like about these is that instead of coming with MicroMasters, right, that feature is replaced with the Headmasters in the Legend set. So you still get the little companion figures, which, uh, which the G1 guys came with, which is 
you know, very cool. Here, here they are. So they double as the heads. And again, the heads are interchangeable with all the other figures in the line. Uh, let's go this side. Swink. Now I am very careful when I open a box that I'm going to keep because I do not want to crease the edges. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, that, that is very, very nice. All right, they are uh, considerably smaller than the original, but here they are. Here's the big powered set. Here are the instructions. We'll keep this sealed. Uh, they don't seem to come with cards, which is fine, but Let's move this a little bit down here. Uh, we've got tape all around the tray. Let's cut that tape. I've been also setting up my uh, generation stuff or my classics also known as chug. So tonight I kind of get dual action, setting up G1 big power, Setting up Legends Big Powered. And the cap's off. All right, let's see. We've got some uh, twist ties in here, but Sonic Bomber comes right out. And boy, they did a really good job of, of matching this toy up. This is a remold, an exclusive remold to this set. This was one of the, uh, look, there's a little bit of flash on this one left. It's very rare that you would see that little piece of flash there. This is a, a remold of Decepticon Target Master somebody. I forget who. So let's see. Okay, so is that it? Nope. Let's see. Ah, that slides forward. Excellent. This is a great, great. It's got a cockpit in it and everything. So, continuing on, let's, uh, I noticed the gun on this guy is gray, the original one is orange, just a minor detail there that kind of irks me a little bit. Alright, let's cut out this Headmaster Titan Master. And hang on. There we go. All right, so this is Sonic Bomber. And his gun doesn't really stay in him too well. But this is Sonic Bomber compared to his G1 counterpart. All right, let's move on. Uh, Roadfire. This is, I believe, remolded from Twin Twist? Or is it Topspin? And I'm not going to transform the G1 versions just because, you know, they're the G1 versions. They're old. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Seriously. I guess that just pulls apart. Oh, it's got those, it's got like the, the wonky aerial bot legs, which are like tough to, 
tough to get out. There is something here that is attached, isn't there? There is something that is attached here. All right, with that, that goes like that. And that's attached there because there's a pen. So, oh, I see. Okay. Again, with the waist. All right. Okay, let's see here. Not a bad transformation overall. It's, well, not bad. Seems like a pretty extensive remold, actually. Oh, look at that. I like that. I like this road fire. Not bad. That is not bad. And he's got his big ass gun. So those are both deluxe, and I'm going to guess this is his. Yep. No, that's Diablos, right? Yep. Here we go. Alright. Come on. Connect! Why won't you connect properly? And again, the, the gun's a little, a little wonky, a little loose. Overall, not a bad transformation. Not a bad transformation. Let's see. So here we go. The original road fire. The new road fire. No stickers with this set. There is a lot of deco on here. So you see on the chest, there is, there is plenty of deco. So... Yeah, I don't think stickers are really required, but a set of repro labels certainly wouldn't help. Hurt, sorry, they would help. So I'm gonna just show off the comparison with the guns real quick. So this is the G1 gun, and this is the new gun. And Die Atlas is a remold of Overlord. So let's see. All right, let's take this headmaster out, put this tray away. Whoops. Technical difficulties. I guess I should get a uh, a stand. Hey, maybe I'll do a Kickstarter to get a, uh, a phone stand. So that's kind of cool that it's it's got a connection there rather than, from what I remember, the Overlord and the Black Shadow just kind of popping in here. There's a little connector here. You know what? That kind of reminds me of the old uh, G.I. Joe toy forget what the bridge layer was that what it was called the bridge layer it's a great toy let's see am I the only guy that makes noises sometimes when he's transforming his toys See that? That is cool because it stays all in one piece. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. I like that a lot. That's staying all together in one piece. That is super cool. And the wings have to flip up somehow. Oh, see that? They just pop off. So you can use them 
I assume, as his sword. Yep, so that will fold in there. He's got a cockpit as well. Very nice. Very nice. Nicely done, Takara. Nicely done. This is, uh, this one, this one has some love put into it. There we go, snaps in tight. Very cool. Very, very cool. Well done, Takara. Well done. Let's pop that head in. It's almost got like a Brain Master feature to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's my Jason Momo impression. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's pop these back in. Oh, I got a little, little articulation in there. Yeah. Segmented wings, little, little segmented wings. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. I wonder, no. That, that is cool. I bet you there's some funky, uh, funky transformations you can do with this. All right, so. Original, Generation 1. Legends version. Both Japanese exclusive. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm really happy with this set. I would say this is probably one... Man, Takara has really, really done a good job. Oh, look at the face on this guy. All right? Look at the G1 face. They did a good job with this. They did a good job with this. You know... Looking at this, this is like, if someone were to say, oh, this is like a Bach concept. No, this is above and beyond that. There's no no way something like this could have been told up for Bach con. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Put these guys together. I wish they were a little tighter in the joints. Put this guy over here. This guy over here, this guy behind him, and now I got my little, my little family of big powered. So, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties. And uh, we will see you next time on Cut the Tape. Bye.